and why I have this podcast is to remind you to slow down and tune back in to what feels aligning to you because the world's going to try to shout at you and say, this is what's aligning for you. You should do this or there's something wrong with you. Or if you're not here, there's something wrong with you. There's nothing wrong with you. You're exactly where you need to be learning the lessons you need to figuring out the things you need to acquiring the things you need to going in when you need to there's nothing wrong with you slow down and tune in to what is right for you welcome to alignment adventures this is a podcast where we explore what it means to live a fulfilling aligning and present life i'm your host lindsay tanner and i am so grateful that you are here and welcome back to alignment adventures i am incredibly excited and so grateful to be back here with you if you're watching on youtube you can probably see that i have a new format a new background it's not really a new background but new location just trying to spice it up a little bit i would be lying if i said that i'm not intimidated by all the fancy setups of all the different podcasts out there now like can we just acknowledge how many podcasts there are available for you to listen to so if you're listening right now i am beyond grateful for your time and energy i am just so honored that you're here with me today but when i see like the setups of other people's podcasts even though i've been doing this for four years even though how many months was it july august september october okay four months <laughs> even though i just took a four month break I am coming up on the four year birthday of Alignment Adventures and I can still get intimidated by the way that other people are doing it and I don't have the fancy setup. I still have the same equipment that I've been using, my computer, this microphone, and my phone that I'm recording the video on, but it also felt really good to just mix up how I'm recording this. Like when I decided to come back, I was like, you know what? I don't have to do it the exact same way that I did it before. I can do it just a little bit differently and sitting here in the space feels so good. I do want to say it's a little risky because literally on the other side of this wall, Arlo is napping, but that's just the way life works sometimes. And I'm working with what I've got and I'm so grateful that I do have this space. I am wanting to make a more legitimate podcasting space in our formal dining room. Like who uses a formal dining room anymore unless you're a very fancy person or someone with a very large family. We have people over sometimes, but we usually just eat in the kitchen or downstairs. We literally never use our formal dining room space. I use like the living room coming off of it for yoga and for other videos that I create sometimes, but otherwise we don't use that space. So work in progress, working on manifesting that into a beautiful podcasting space. So that way I have a little bit more distance from Arlo when he is napping and I do not disturb him, but deep exhale it feels so good to be back with you all to be here talking to you this break was so needed and honestly last time i talked to you all i really wasn't sure if i would come back like i just knew i needed a break i didn't know what was going to come next and really it was before some other things in my life happened like i had a premonition i guess you could say that i needed the break because things happen physically to me mentally emotionally that i needed that time and space like the whole end of july and most of august i was just like out of the game for a while which we can talk about that here in a little bit so it was just interesting how intuitively i knew i needed to release the podcast for a little bit and i'm so grateful that i listened to that voice like i always talk about on here because I needed that and I didn't even know I needed it in the moment and it's just given me so much time and space to reflect on why I have this podcast why I you know create these why I show up here how I want to spend my time because we all know that free time is so precious time is our most precious resource which we could go down a rabbit hole on time I actually want to do a whole episode on time and what I've learned about it recently piggybacking off that time episode I did in the spring and how it really isn't how we perceive it but I've just come away from these past few months four months I guess you could say with so many revelations 
feeling so re-inspired, re-energized, restored. Uh, I just hope it inspires you that if you feel like you need to release something for a little bit, there's absolutely nothing wrong with that, nothing wrong with you. And sometimes that's the best gift you can give yourself. And that thing that you're releasing is just like giving yourself time and space and coming back to it with renewed energy. And man, am I feeling that. So let's talk about where we left off here. So last time I recorded an episode, I had mentioned that One of the reasons that I felt called to take a break was I had taken on a new responsibility of watching Stephen's cousin's daughter. So kind of like my niece, along with Arlo three days a week. And that's been such a gift in so many ways and such a beautiful lesson for me. I mean, kids, so many rabbit holes and so many tangents I can go down. That's just how Lindsay's brain works. Kids are such beautiful teachers. They are always teaching us things. Arlo has taught me so much more than I have taught him. And it's just so beautiful to acknowledge that and realize it because sometimes you can get very easily caught up in the emotions of parenting, which I totally understand to not see the gifts, but there have been so many gifts with watching Arlo and his cousin. It's been so amazing for them to have more of that social time with kids their age. And yeah, just so many things I could say about that. Also, a few weeks after I released that last episode, I did find out that I was pregnant with our second child. I'm just going to get into TMI stuff here. So if you're here for it, keep listening. If you don't really want to hear about this, I understand. Like you don't have to listen. Just that disclaimer here. Um, I found out I was pregnant in July. And right around the middle of July, we decided that we were going to start trying in Italy for a second child. We know we want at least two children. I still feel that way. Anyways, I found out I was pregnant and that was super exciting and very close after that, like a week later, I found out that I was no longer pregnant. So it was a very fast situation. Um, I guess I should have given a disclaimer too, like talking about loss here, pregnancy loss. So again, if that is too much for you, I totally understand. You can leave this conversation all compassion and love and respect there and that was obviously not something we were expecting but also i really as hard as it was obviously it was difficult and hard to navigate that not something i would have chosen but i really didn't feel alone and um it hurts my heart for people that do feel alone in that situation and this isn't like a positive thing to that but what really gave me comfort and connection during that time was I have so many beautiful people around me that I've experienced the same thing and I just helped me give such a deeper understanding to what other people have gone through in those situations and I know this is just one instance that people have experienced that on a grander scale and not diminishing what I went through but you know there's just lots of different situations there it just gave me such a deeper understanding to the struggles that people go through with that and i feel like i realized a lot of things from that situation how i choose to see life as you all know if you're a long time listener and this is just how i choose to see it and you do not have to choose to see your life this way but it serves me is things are always happening for me and for my highest good even in the really tough situations and What that helped me realize is one, obviously, to stop, slow down, and check back in with myself. Like, what do I have going on up here, especially in my mind? Some things that may not be serving me. And I had a lot of limiting beliefs around what having a second child meant. Like, what that meant for my worth as a person and as a mom. Which sounds so silly saying it now because being a mom to one child is a lot. Obviously being a mom to multiple children is also a lot, but even just being a mom to one child really changes your life. And it's so beautiful and so challenging and just all the polarities there. Right. And I just had this like subconscious belief that I needed to have two children to like really feel like I was like putting in the work as a mom and (laughs) just saying it out loud. 
makes my body cringe because I realize how ridiculous that sounds, but I took that situation for me to help me realize that I had that subconscious belief. And I think that's the thing with a lot of the work I talk about on here. We had these deep subconscious beliefs that we just picked up somewhere. We Sometimes we don't even know where we picked them up. And that influences how we're showing up in our life and how fulfilled and happy on a deeper level we feel. So I guess I felt like I had this sense of lacking, like I was lacking something internally and I needed something externally to feel more whole or complete or worthy as a mother. And when that second child does come, which I believe they will come when the time is right, obviously our life will be complete on a different level, but it was nothing that I needed to change about myself, if that makes sense. <laughs> Getting deep here as usual, but like it was nothing that I needed to change about myself in order to feel like I was a complete mother. And I hope that makes sense. So there were a lot of gifts that came out of that situation that was not very fun. And then right after that, I got the stomach flu. So like, I'm not even kidding when I say that I was just like out of commission for end of July, beginning of August, my body was going through it. Obviously I had to heal from being pregnant and then not pregnant. That was a whole healing journey on its own, physically, mentally, emotionally. Um, I started going to therapy, which that has been really useful for me. I actually haven't been in the past month because October was so crazy, which we'll get to that in a second. But therapy to me is just such a beautiful tool for me to just like be a mirror to myself. Like I just need that person who can like reflect back to me what I'm not necessarily seeing myself. And that's been a beautiful gift that I'm sure I'll continue to use as I need it. We know that we promote therapy on here a lot. So if you feel like you need it, go and do it. I felt like I needed therapy for a few years. And honestly, when this situation in July happened, I was like, okay, that's it. I'm going to therapy. And it was such a beautiful gift to myself. I also have realized so many deep thoughts and feelings and beliefs that I had around the podcast and around like just the way I'm creating things in my life. I didn't realize how much like pent up anger I had <laughs> towards not the podcast, but just the way that I think that things should be. And I don't even know if that's really what I want, but it's like the should that we place on ourselves based on like what society expects as successful. This can be a whole episode, which I will make it a whole episode. But I feel like I've been able to release so much anger and expectations with the podcast. I am here because I love it because it is just like pouring out of my soul. I love connecting with all of you about these topics. I love hearing from all of you about these topics. I just have these conversations for fun. So the fact that I have a platform where I can share them is just something I'm beyond grateful for. And... I just feel like I've released not only anger, but this victim mentality that I've had, which can be such an easy thing to fall into. So if you feel yourself in that victim mentality, you're not alone. But yeah, it's just to explain that a little bit more before I get into the flip side of it. I just felt like I should be doing more like I should have gotten farther along farther along quotations if you can't see me on YouTube than where I was with the podcast and that's just like one thing's out of my control I can focus on the things that I can control which is how I'm showing up here and just doing things that make me happy and taking the actions that feel aligned for me and the rest is out of my control and also that radical responsibility piece, which I had an episode all about that. I think it's the one um, where I talk about what I learned from the Abraham Hicks workshop that I went to like almost two years ago. But such an easy thing to forget that like really the only person responsible for how we feel is us. And truly, we are our own worst enemy sometimes. I know that is true for myself. Like that Taylor Swift song, Hi, It's Me, I'm the Problem, It Is Me. 
I relate to that so much sometimes. Like, I am the only person holding myself back. And I come up with all these stories of like, I don't have time or I'm not capable or I'm not meant to do this, blah, 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 blah. When truly it just feels so aligned and joyous and fun to show up here on this podcast. So I'm so grateful for these past four months that helped me become aware of the stories of the anger, of the resentment, of the victim mentality, and helped me choose again, stepping back into my power, the creator aspect rather than the victim aspect. It's just like switching that dial, switching that perspective, turning the radio station from victim mentality. Oh, all these things are happening to me. Why do bad things always happen to me? Blah, 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 blah. Like I you know what I'm talking about, that victim mentality rather than the creator mentality where you get to choose how you see a situation. You get to choose how you show up in a situation. You get to choose what you release, what you take on, who you hang out with, what you consume, your thoughts. And I'm not saying that's always easy, but you always have the power. And I always want that to be my underlying message here. Even though I talked about it so much on the podcast, those like mass consciousness beliefs of like you need to be doing this you need to be showing up this way you need to post on social media every single day you need to have this many followers you need to weigh this much or make this much money blah 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 blah, are so deep and man the power of slowing down getting quiet tuning back into yourself are always some of the most beautiful tools so i'm very grateful that i've been able to really prioritize that these past few months and i feel it coming on even deeper even though i'm here back on the podcast i'm creating podcast episodes again man we're heading into the darker time of the year we're heading into the end of fall which fall goes into december 21st by the way in case you forgot easy to forget again with our society and winter it's just such a beautiful time to slow down and go within nature is begging you to do that so just like lean into those cozy hibernation vibes as much as you can i feel like november is a really beautiful month for that even though we can feel like the holiday stuff coming on obviously we have thanksgiving here in the states there's just more time than we will have in december most likely to slow down tune in and just like see what feels right for you literally the best gift you can give yourself and the best gift I have given myself and will continue to give myself as the years go on and why I have this podcast is to remind you to slow down and tune back in to what feels aligning to you because the world's going to try to shout at you and say this is what's aligning for you you should do this or there's something wrong with you or if you're not here there's something wrong with you there's nothing wrong with you you're exactly where you need to be learning the lessons you need to figuring out the things you need to, acquiring the things you need to, going in when you need to, there's nothing wrong with you. Slow down and tune in to what is right for you. Another really interesting thing happened during this break, and I feel like I needed to take the break to realize it, was I just wanted to see how I felt not creating. And honestly, I missed it. I was sad. Like, I have to create in some way. Like, we're all natural creators, but just showing up and sharing like the things that are so deep in my heart brings me so much joy. I missed it. I truly miss it when I'm not doing it. So these past four months, even though I, you know, did take that time to slow down and rest, I have still been showing up on my personal YouTube channel a lot especially a lot, a lot in October, I had the crazy idea, which aren't those the best. I love crazy ideas to do something called a vlogtober. Now, I'm not sure if people actually do this or if I just made it more of a thing myself, but I decided to post a video every single weekday in October and I made it pretty far. I've, you know, set the expectation of it's okay if I don't do this perfectly. I just want to see what I can do. Obviously, you know, October is my favorite month of the year, my favorite time of the year, which I'm realizing how beautiful November is too. So shout out to all my November people. And I just had so many creative ideas bubbling out of me. So many takeaways from what I learned in Vlogtober. I ended up creating, I think, about 20 videos. 
in the month of October, which is nuts when I think about it. But I did it and I was so shocked when I was doing it. I was like, kind of like when you learn to ride a bike, I would imagine it felt like, I don't totally remember, but you're like, you know, keep trying and you do it and you're like riding the bike without the training wheels and you're looking around and you're like, I'm doing it. I can't believe I'm doing it. That's how I felt in October. I was like, oh my gosh, I'm creating a video every single day. And I've had this dang story the past almost two years that I don't have time to do all the things I want to do. Obviously I have the time because I was creating, editing, filming, not in that order, you film, edit, and then post <laughs> a video every single day in October, every single weekday. So obviously the issue isn't the time, the issue are the stories that I've come up with up here and there's nothing wrong with me. It's okay that we have those stories, but like that was such a beautiful gift to be like, oh my gosh, like I'm truly my own worst enemy. That victim mentality was like shining ever so brightly. And that's the beautiful thing about awareness. You see it for what it is and you're like, okay, I'm not going to choose that path because <laughs> I have a lot of things that I want to put out in the world. Like I want to create things in the world that I would love to see. And obviously I have the time to do that. So hence why I'm here. That was one of my first revelations as I was doing it. I was like, okay, it's time to bring back the podcast next month, <laughs> next month. So that's why we're here in November. Just a little like side note about my personal YouTube channel. and Obviously my podcast YouTube channel that you could possibly be watching right now. I'm going to keep both. I wrestle with that in my mind a lot. Like, how am I going to do both? Like, blah, blah, blah. Just trying to organize it in my mind. I am definitely going to try to create as many podcast episodes as I can. I don't think they'll be every week. So we're just going to see when they pop up, like I've been saying all year. And then I'm going to keep like the chatty stuff over here on the podcast, obviously, because that's what a podcast is for. And then my personal YouTube channel will stay more vlogs, um, travel content, I did a few like thrifting hauls over there. I've been loving the thrifting. As you know, I've talked about that here before. So it'll be more like a personal look into my life. And then over here are like the deep chats because I've had some deep chats over on my personal YouTube channel and I want to keep it on this channel because it just feels more right. So just a side note there. But to round out this episode, first of all, thank you for listening into this point. I love you so much. Like whether I know you personally or not, sending you so much love. Thank you for being here with me today. I just want to share some things that I have been doing these past few months that have really, really helped me. I've mentioned a few already, but one of them is I've just been trying to shower myself with love and compassion when I get caught up in those stories, because I know we're going to continue to have mind stories. We're humans, this physical reality, we just experience limitations. Even though we are limitless beings, we have the perception or illusion of limitations, and that's okay. When those limitations come up, just shower yourself with love and compassion. Be like, you know what? Talk to your little self, little Lindsay. It's okay that you have that belief. It makes sense that you have it. You picked it up somewhere and that's okay. There's nothing wrong with you. You don't have to keep believing that. And I love you still. I am so proud of you. Oh, being proud of yourself, especially like little you, being proud of the person you are now. Oh, that's powerful, powerful work. And I just, it's something we can easily forget to do to send ourselves love and compassion. The next thing I already mentioned is just taking radical responsibility. No one else is responsible for making me feel happy, fulfilled, present. You know, my pillars of this podcast aligned, except me. I'm the only person that can do that. And putting those expectations on other people or other things are setting ourselves up for failure. So coming back to your own personal power, taking personal responsibility and saying, you know what? I am the only person that can truly make myself fulfilled and happy. And what is that going to look like for me? It's not going to come when I finally land that job or have the second child or lose the weight, whatever it may be. I'm not saying it's wrong to desire those things or go after those things, but you can feel happy, complete, 
worthy right now. A lot of times it's just that awareness piece and coming back to it. Just be aware of when that victim mentality, which can be such a sneaky bee, comes up and makes you feel not worthy and not whole because that's the paradox. We are worthy, whole, loved, guided all the time. We just forget. The last thing that I've really been focusing on and I can really feel myself making so much growth in this area is not feeling guilty for having a beautiful life. It is no secret that there's a lot of contrast in the world. There's a lot of suffering in the world. There's a lot of people that have a lot of crazy things going on, especially this past month. It's been a lot of things happening globally, right? But I know for me personally, I can have this story of guilt for having the things that I desire, which is just insane because like why even have the desire if once you get it, you're going to feel guilty. Someone said something to me the other day. Um, it was just like a little comment. And normally that comment would like have triggered guilt of like, why do you deserve to like go and travel and have abundance and all that? And they said it and it, I didn't feel that, that trigger. I didn't feel like that wound being poked. I just... I'm so proud of myself for making so much growth there. I obviously try to, you know, share my love and compassion with as many people as I can. And I try to make this world a better place by showing up as the Lindsay I want to show up as. And I know that me feeling guilty about creating a beautiful life is not going to help anyone else. What's going to help everyone else is me showing up in my authenticity in my own personal responsibility power, in my creator mode. And that's what's going to help me show up as the person that's going to help other people. Because that's kind of the paradox. This is a whole other thing we could go down to. You can't really help other people. Everyone is like the sovereign person of their life. And that can cause so much suffering because you want to help people feel better or make the quote unquote right decisions, what you think is the right decision. But we're all unique souls with unique desires. So random tangent. I just feel like we can get really caught up in that. Like we have to save everyone or like someone needs to come in and save all of us. That's not your responsibility. And I feel like can just be a rabbit hole that can really take you down some weird places. It's not a bad thing to like have good intentions. Like I think I have good intentions on here, like helping or inspiring, not even helping, inspiring all of you to live your most aligned, fulfilling and present life. But I can't do that for you. You are the creator of your life, just like I am the creator of my life. So Oh, that feels like a rambly way to end that, but I'm going to release the perfectionism that comes with these episodes. I hope something in this resonated with all of you. Feel free to share it with me on Instagram. I deleted Instagram the week that I'm recording this, but I'm not going to release this for a few weeks, so I should be back on Instagram by the time I release this. So feel free to message me on there at Lindsay with an A, M as in Michelle Tanner. You can also screenshot it and share it in your stories and tag me. I am so beyond appreciative every time that you share the podcast, whether it is on social media or just by word of mouth with someone that you think would enjoy these conversations. So, so, so appreciative. It is the best way to support this podcast and what I'm talking about over here. If you are interested in watching these episodes now that I'm like sitting here in this cute location talking to all of you hopefully it truly feels like a coffee shop conversation now go to alignment adventures podcast on youtube and subscribe there also subscribe on whatever platform you are listening on another beautiful way to support the podcast and i'm just sending you all so much love i hope you've been doing so well these past four months i've missed all of you so so much thank you for being back here with me today you have no idea how much it means to me and of course i will see you in the next episode of alignment adventures <laughs>